Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with Intelligent Fastener and how to make some first configuration. We will create new assembly and into new assembly I will place two components. So first component will be placed as default and second component will be oriented here. So I'd like to place it and align these surfaces and then everything will be fine. I will confirm and you can see that right now I have holes are created, components are connected and I have created some point as a reference on the model. And right now the question is how we can connect these plates with the new feature which is possible to found in the tools and over here is the functionality intelligent fastener. You can see that it's possible to place screw or pins. So, and you can select assembly on reference or assembly by mouse click. So you'll always only select where you would like to place or you can use the same logic for the pin. Today I'd like to focus on the assembly on reference so you can directly select this icon and the system asks you to select the position you can use, for example, point or axis. Now I will specify and select point and then system ask you, where is the screw head? So over here will be screw head. And another question is where will be definite the nut or thread head? So over here, for example, and right now you can see that if I will come from OK, the system will generate the screw for me and I can choose from the catalog and if you have a license of IFX, you can customize and create your custom catalog. So you can use your custom screw, nuts, washer and so on. If you use the default license, it's a light license of the intelligent fast and you can use what is used here or what is predefined. So you can simply select the catalog and then if you will select drop down menu, again, you can have a look here that is possible to choose from the menu. Or for example, if I will choose some ISO object over here, it's more screws and you can use, for example, socket head cap, and then you can specify the quality of the screw. So I will select, for example, this one, the system will automatically set a size for me, yeah, default size. And again, what is possible to set? So for example, I will specify the M10. What does this system do at the behind? is that always measure the necessary object lengths. So for example, here you can see that first plate was 25 millimeter and second one is 15. And the question is what length of the screw you need to use. So yes, of course, you can use the drop down menu and choose. And we can say simply to guess what is the length or you can specify and select this icon and system will set length automatically. What does it mean? If you will specify, for example, washer, you can again choose the, what kind of washer you would like to use. Maybe you would like to choose both and opposite direction again. But you can see here right now that length is not good. So maybe you need to select the set length automatically. Perfect. And system will found nearest length, which is suitable to this screw connection. And everything is here. And I will move this window a little bit. And as you can see right now, I do not have a holes, but what is possible to define that system can create automatically hole. And you can specify, for example, if necessary, for example, counterbore. Yeah, and system will place the screw in the counterbore hole. Yeah, if you don't want to use it, you can switch off and then specify the opposite. If you will confirm OK, the system will define the screw connection and if I will hide this object you can see that hole is created. In the specification I will unhide over here is everything here you can see that is screw nuts and washers. If I would like to specify the custom options yeah I can select the intelligent fast and options and for example, hole visibility right now is definite as default. It's in 3D models. 
I can choose where it is created only in the assembly or I can select. For now, in the second example, I don't want to create holes because I don't want to create external references and I will reuse the existing one. So one more time, select the screw connection here. You can select cylindrical surface, for example, it's the same like axis. And then you can specify where will be head of the screw, where will be nut. And I can confirm OK. Again, the system will specify what kind of screw is possible to place there. I don't remember the diameter, but I can automatically select this icon and the system will set OK, measure diameter, so it's fine. I don't want to create a hole, so I can hide this window really easy. And again, you can specify if you would like to use the washers over there and set automatic length. And right now you can see that if I will select the two plates, so the system will calculate the plates and then this empty space here again, and then necessary other the side. So system can automatically recognize the surfaces, what you select, first one and second one. And if it will come from OK, the system will automatically ask you because recognize that these holes has been created as the pattern. So you can use the assembler single instance on select, for example, pattern as fastener. Yeah, and you can confirm OK. And all screws are created or screw connection, simply to say, we can say are definite. All another option, what is possible to do, how to set up and how to customize intelligent fastener. I will share the tutorial step by step, one by one, and you will learn how to use your custom screw nuts or how to define your custom library for intelligent path fastener. And in this video tutorial, I have been focusing on the screw connection. You can try by yourself, place the double pin, for example. Like the video, stay tuned, share with your friends and donate me by coffee. Thank you. Vladimir.